Hello everyone, welcome sa tutorial series natin kung saan gagawa tayo ng simpleng web application using C Sharp, .NET Core, and Visual Studio. So, bago tayo mag-start, kailangan natin ng um, .NET Core SDK and Visual Studio. So, open nyo yung browser nyo and just search um, .NET Core SDK. So, automatically um select nyo yung that uh, yung Microsoft link na available sa internet so here ang latest version sa ngayon is yung 3.1 so please download the SDK for that and at the same time search nyo din yung Visual Studio so for Visual Studio download nyo yung uh, community edition because um, yung professional pati yung enterprise kailangan ng license so yung community is a free one so um, just download it uh, huwag nyo na download yung dalawa kasi kailangan nyo pa magbayad so uh, don't bother downloading them so just use the community one so once na ma-download yung SDK and yung Visual Studio um, install them and we will be creating our first project. So, open nyo yung Visual Studio and para makagawa tayo ng project, click on File, click on New, click on Project. So, magkakaroon dito ng long list of um, option na pwede natin i-select. So, kailangan piliin lang is .NET Core Web Application. ASP.NET Core Web Application. Kung hindi nyo makita, meron namang search box sa taas. So, search nyo lang ASP.NET Core Web Application. And select nyo yung option na yun, And click nyo yung next. So, bibigyan natin na pangalan yung project. So, simplehan lang natin. Simple web up. So, save natin sa desktop. Meron na yung folder for this. So, pangalan is tutorial series. So, Click on Create. So, after natin i-click yung Create, magkakaroon ng mga option na naman. But, this time, ang i-select natin is Empty. Uh, wag nyo select yung ibang mga option dito. Um, and the reason why uh, we select Empty is because... Uh, mas magandang mag-focus na i-add natin yung mga kailangan nating files or the, kailangan nating mga um, package one by one. So, for this series, i-explain natin um, para saan ba yung um, package na ina-add natin, para saan ba itong um, code na ina-add natin. So, pag pumili ka kasi ng, let's say, pinili mo yung web application, automatically e, -E i-install niya na yung mga package na kailangan mo. So, wala ka na masyadong um, learning kung ano ba yung purpose nun. So, it's like um, jumping agad sa advanced stuff. So, um, continue lang tayo sa empty and click on create. So, bigyan nyo lang ng ilang segundo. So, once ma-create the Visual Studio yung project. So, may kita nyo merong Solution Explorer sa right side. So, nandito yung mga files na uh, generate para sa project natin. So, check natin yung mga files na nandito. So, first, check natin tong properties. So, meron dito yung launch settings.json. So, in short, ang launch settings, ang purpose lang na ito usually is to um, provide the configuration or yung mga settings for different environment when you run your application. So, pwede mong baguhin dito yung SSL port. Pwede mong baguhin yung URL ng application mo. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang URL is this one um, na may port na... Uh, um, 54329 or SS, SSL port na 44357. So, sa profile, ito yung different environment. So, kapag nag-code ka kasi, kapag nag 
gumagawa ka ng application, may, di, may iba't ibang um, environment, merong, let's say, local host, merong, dev, uh, merong dev environment, merong QA environment, merong production environment. So, production environment, usually yun yung mga finished product, yun na yung um, tapos, na, tapos mo na gawin yung application, ide-deploy mo na, ipapagamit mo na sa mga end users mo. So, right now, uh, nandito tayo sa development side. So, yung environment variable na ginagamit is development. So, nandito yung mga settings na um, iseset niya. Next, is check na rin yung app settings at JSON. So, it's almost the same lang with launch settings at JSON, mainly for like configuration purposes. Yung uh, purpose nila. So, pag clinic mo to, nakikita may app settings at development at JSON. So, usually pag nag-create uh, kami, um, nag-add kami na or nag-add ako ng um, additional like JSON file para dito. So, let's say something like app settings that localhost.json for localhost de development. So, pwede mo kasi iset dito yung same with launch settings, yung iba't ibang configuration ng uh, application mo. So, let's close that and continue on program.cs. So, sa so program.cs, since um, may kita nyo dito yung main method. So, yung main method for um, easy um, understanding ang purpose ng main method is ito yung unang um, tinatawag kapag nirarun ang application. So, um, let's say you executed the file. The first thing na hanapin ng computer or irarun ng computer is yung main method. So, kung ano yung um, code na nakasulat doon, yun yung mga first execute na um, commands or kung ano man yung sinulat mo dun sa main method mo, yun yung irarun. So, sa atin, ang irarun niya is yung create host builder. So, di natin masyado i-discuss ito ngayon since um, this is more like introduction pa lang naman. So, let's close the program.cs and let's continue sa startup.cs. So, yung startup.cs, ang purpose nito is to um, uh, configure natin yung pipeline at the same time to add some services or to register some services para sa application. Kasi yung application natin, pwede kasi meron tayong ginagamit na service for, uh, let's say, um, saving sa database. So, meron kang service na magre-retrieve or mag-save ng data papunta sa yung database. So, dito mo ilalagay yon. At the same time, meron din dito yung, yung mga middleware. So, yung middleware. So, think of them as part of a process, something like that. I think. So, uh, as a basic example, let's say, uh, my website ka. So, sa middleware, we can consider one middleware is yung authentication, pati yung authorization. So, let's say for authentication, ang check niya is, um, sino ba? So, who are you? So, pwedeng i-return, oh, my email is, let's say, blah, 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 dot com. So, um, na-authenticate ka na niya. So, yung next process or yung next middleware na dadaanan ng request, is yung authorization naman. So, that's a, that's only an example. So, for authorization, check nyo naman. Si blah 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 dot com da, si blah 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 at gmail dot com ba is authorized para i-access tong page na to. So, yun yung um, middleware. So, um, you can uh, parang consider mo siya as parang series of process or series of things na dadaanan ng uh, request para dito sa web application mo. So, ang importante sa ngayon is ira natin yung application para makita natin kung ano ba ang nangyayari dito. So, para maran click yung IIS Express or debug, start debug. So, or press F5. So, higyan nyo lang ng ilang segundo para maran yung application. So, I don't have a very fast um, machine right now. So, this will take a couple of seconds.
So, as you can see, mag raran to ng internet browser. And, mag -re return ng hello world. So, what happened here is na kung sino yung magre-request sa root URL, so, which is indicated by the slash um, a symbol. So, pag pinisit mo yung root URL ng application mo, ng website or ng web app mo, automatically, yung request na yun, yung response nun, ilalagay is hello world. So, para mapatunayan natin, why not change the string? Let's change it to So, hi, I'm testing this. So, run natin ulit. So, it should return, hi, I'm testing this. There you go. So, what if nag, um, nag visit tayo ng ibang um, URL or ng ibang route? So, let's say, Inunta natin yung home. Or let's say yung login page. Kunyari. So, mapapansin nyo, magre-return to ng error message or error 404. Kasi, sa ngayon, ang nakaregister pa lang is yung um, root URL. So, ang ginagawa ng application mo is chinecheck niya kung uh, meron ka bang um, gagawin or meron ka bang method na um, i-return or something na may process ba para sa ganitong route or sa ganitong URL ayun kung meron i-return natin pero kung wala edi eh mag-return tayo ng error so yun yung nangyayari since wala pa naman tayong naka-register na um, controller and view para dito sa route na to so I think that's it for the introduction for the .NET Core tutorial series. So, for the next episode, we will be discussing the MVC um, design pattern. So, we will learn how to create a controller and views para sa application natin. So, same, still um, the same um, project yung gagamitin natin. Um, we will just add the um, required files and required um, code para madagdag yung view pati yung controller. So, kung may questions kayo or comments, mag lang kayo sa comment section and I'll try to answer them. See you on the next episode.